Tweenie's Tales. Which tale do you want to read? The Mermaid and the Pearls. It was Mermaid Bella's birthday, and she was given a beautiful pearl necklace. To celebrate her happy day, she went swimming in the deep waters with her friends. Then, suddenly, a big boat with a fishing net appeared from nowhere. Oh, they swam away to avoid the net, but in the hurry, Mermaid Bella lost the necklace. Mermaid Bella was very sad to lose her birthday present. Oh, it's not fair, she cried. I've got to find it. Mermaid Bella went back to where she thought she'd lost the necklace. The necklace wasn't there. Mermaid Bella didn't know where to look. Can you help her decide which way to swim? Sitting on top of the coral, Mermaid Bella saw a beautiful starfish. She asked the starfish if she'd seen a pearl necklace. I saw a purple octopus picking up a pearl necklace from the reef, replied the starfish. The starfish described where the purple octopus lived. She told Mermaid Bella that the purple octopus lived by the rainbow caverns. Mermaid Bella arrived in front of two different coloured caverns. Click on the cavern where you think the purple octopus lives. She knocked on the cave door. Let me sleep! Go next door! said a very sleepy eel. Click on the cavern where you think the purple octopus lives. The purple octopus came out with lots of jewellery all over her tentacles. Hello, how can I help? asked the purple octopus as she swam up to Mermaid Bella. Bella explained to the purple octopus that she was looking for her pearl necklace. It was a gift for my birthday, explained Mermaid Bella. The purple octopus went back inside her cavern and came out with the pearl necklace. Happy birthday, said the purple octopus, giving the necklace back to Mermaid Bella. Mermaid Bella was so happy to have her necklace back that she invited the purple octopus for tea. Wild West One sunny day, Cowboy Jake was practicing his lasso skills when suddenly the wind started to blow. The wind started to blow so hard that he couldn't stay outside. Cowboy Jake ran back to the ranch. After a while, the wind died down and Cowboy Jake went back outside. Oh no! The gate had blown open and all his cattle had run away! Oh, I have to find the cattle before they get completely lost in the desert, said Cowboy Jake. So, he mounted his horse and went to find them. Can you help Cowboy Jake find the cattle? Should he ask the wild horses or the eagles? On his way, Cowboy Jake came across some wild horses. Follow the footprints, neighed the chief of the herd. Click on the footprints you think Cowboy Jake should follow. That's a horse's footprint. Try another one. That's a bird's footprint. Try another one. Can you hear the cows mooing? Oh, well done. Here they are. Cowboy Jake was very happy to find his cattle. Let's go home, said Cowboy Jake. 
Help Cowboy Jake to gather the cattle together by clicking on the cows. <laughs> Cowboy Jake was very happy and whistled as he took the cattle home. Later that night, Cowboy Jake told his friends all about his adventures in the Wild West. The Princess and the Fairy One day, Princess Fizz was walking in the woods when she came across a wishing well. She stopped to take a look inside. As she was looking at the reflection in the water, she felt something strange begin to happen. <coughs> I, I, I can't move, she cried. I, I'm turning into a statue. <coughs> A rabbit, who was sitting by the well, saw everything that happened to poor Princess Fizz. He decided to go deep into the woods to ask the wood fairy for help. Click on one direction to help the rabbit find the wood fairy. A friendly bird flew past the rabbit and offered to help him find the fairy. Follow the leaves on the ground, said the bird. They will take you to the wood fairy's house. The rabbit was very happy and hopped off to the wood fairy's house. When the rabbit arrived, he told the fairy everything that had happened. The fairy listened carefully and then picked up a magic bag and followed the rabbit back to the well. In the meantime, it started to snow. Quick, called the rabbit. We should hurry before Princess Fizz is covered in snow and we can't find her. When they arrived at the well, the snow had started to fall heavily and everything was white. The fairy opened her bag. Click on one of the magic wands to set Princess Fizz free. <laughs> Oh dear, that's not the right wand, said the wood fairy. Try clicking on the other wand. Click on one of the magic wands to set Princess Fizz free. <laughs> oh look, the snow has come out, said the rabbit, as the snow started to melt and so did the statue. Princess Fizz was free. The princess was so happy that she invited her new friends to a big party in her castle to celebrate. The Lost Treasure one windy day, Pirate Milo was sailing the seas with his tweenies crew. Then, suddenly, a parrot landed on the deck. <coughs> Milo saw that there was something attached to his foot. It was a piece of paper. It's half a treasure map, he cried. But which way should I go, north or south? Can you help Milo decide? North or south? North, south, north. So, Milo decided to sail north. On his way, he met some very friendly seals who were a bit hungry. When the king of the seals saw that Milo had some fish, he asked them for them in exchange for directions to the treasure. If I 
Mr. Rooney! shouted Milo as he steered the boat in the right direction. We're on our way to find the treasure! Milo sailed along and finally came across two islands, but he didn't know which island had the treasure. Click on the island where you think Milo should go. When Milo landed on the island, monkeys jumped into the trees and threw coconuts at Milo and his crew. Go away! Go to another island! they screamed. Click on the island where you think Milo should go. Ahoy there! said Milo as he landed on the island. This must be the right island. It looks exactly like the one on the map. Milo was following the directions on the map until he arrived in front of a very peculiar tree. Milo took three steps to the right, turned left, and walked four steps forward. The treasure should be buried here! Let's dig it up! he said. Finally, they uncovered an enormous old treasure chest! Milo opened the treasure chest. Sweet Rooney! <laughs> Milo and his crew were very happy to have found such a tasty treasure. <laughs>